Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. This is for the collective Cancer Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus signs. What is going on here, please? What is going on here? Oh. Knight of Cups and the Nine of Wands. For some of you, I feel like you tried to express how you felt and this person kind of shut down or like you tried to show affection or emotion to this person and they just stayed like very guarded. Now that could be reversed for some of you, but it's like someone's really afraid to kind of open up. They're very defensive. They're like afraid of love or something. Like afraid to let someone get close to them. It's like someone's hiding how they feel. Okay, tell me, tell you about this. What's going on? Tell us about this, please. Tell us about this. What is this? What are we seeing here? What is this? Your energy, their energy. What is going on? So your energy, okay. Their energy. Ooh, goodness gracious. Okay, wow. What's between you? The obstacle or the challenge. Look at all this. Okay. Their thoughts about you. Their feelings. Their intentions. And the actions. I have two cards. One is kind of take both. Okay. Under the deck is the devil. Very intense energies here, Cancer. Capricorn energy. We have the Page of Pentacles here and the King of Wands as well. Some of you, this could have to do with a child. Or like a major age difference. Maybe like 10-15 years for some of you. Um, someone is like really, really in their head. Somebody here could be struggling with like a, some form of addiction. Addiction is not always about substance. It could be for some of you. But it could be like a certain way of living. Way of thinking. Way of being. There's some type of temptation here. I'm getting like a lot of lust. King of Wands. Uh, signs that are prominently coming through. We do have very strong water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A little bit of Earth as well, but it's strong, like fiery, like fire and water energy is like what I'm getting. It's like this very like intense, very like emotional. I really just want to go ahead and start pulling some clarifiers on this because this feels like really specific. Let's have Gemini Virgo here. Um, what is going on here, please, for the collective Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? What is ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union? Okay, and then we have love call under the deck. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, and letting you know. I just saw 333 as I was looking over at the recording. So some of you could be seeing numbers and synchronicities like that. Okay. Oh, okay. This is starting to make a little bit more sense. So what we're seeing here is keys on a ring. Many options, decision, unconventional, stringing along, or one night stand. This might have been the kind of connection where someone did not intend to fall for another person there might be distance between you and this person okay i i kind of feel like this person might be like afraid of commitment or afraid of like making a decision in regards to commitment and again i'm never going to be in here justifying someone's negative actions or behaviors but we do want to read their perspective whether it's right or wrong does not matter to me because we have to understand their mindset that's the only that you can see things clearly and make up a decision about the situation, you know. Um, what do they think? What do they want? Are they wasting your time? You know, all of that. The things that you don't know. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. And the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. I kind of feel like this person might be afraid to get close to somebody because they're afraid of being abandoned or afraid of it not working out or afraid of getting hurt. And the Three of Swords here, for some of you, there could have been other people involved. Maybe you're with someone or they're with someone or something came between you, like an addiction or something. Why is the Three of Swords here? How do you see this situation? 
you still love this person. But you feel like they have to they have a choice to make. The devil can also talk about third parties. Some of you there could be kids involved. This could be somebody maybe as a child. There's a temptation here. This is heartbreak. She's look at look at the pain she's experiencing. And then we see that your person's energy over here. We have the Ten of Swords. You see like that mirroring, like they're in like an agony. This is so much pain. Like crying out for each other. I don't know why. Like they're they're really showing me like someone who's like hearing this person's cries. Like you you hear theirs, they hear yours. Maybe like not sure if that's what you're really experiencing or, or hearing. You just still love this person, but you don't know what to do here because you feel like they have it's it's the balls in their court. They have to do something to act on it. They might have been the one to cause some kind of separation or distance between you. You might live at a distance. Some of you could have met online. In your person's energy with ten of swords, like I said, they're in a lot of pain. Why? What's? What, how do they see this situation? How do they see it? The sun. Something came to light. What was it? What came to light? Their family. Okay. Um, now this, one way or the other, there's someone was not being fully honest here. This person may have already been married or had a family and did not fully tell you that, or you might have. For others of you, I also feel that family may disagree with this connection for whatever reason. Not that they should even have a say, but there might be some kind of influence like family dynamic. There's some type of deception that is part of the hurdle here. And I do feel like it may have to evolve, revolve around a family or a living arrangement. Okay. So things came to an end. What's between you with the world? There's distance. I feel like you're also watching each other or, or wanting to learn more about each other, like online, like maybe spying on each other through the internet or something. What's between you? You both might be married to other people. Some of you might find out about a marriage or an engagement online. Again, take what resonates. Leave what does not. These are general collective readings. The obstacle being judgment, it's like an awakening or a realization. What is the obstacle here? You both still think about each other. You both might be trying to move on and make decisions like let this go, but you both keep reflecting and thinking about each other. Some of you haven't spoken in a while, but you just can't let each other go. And you're kind of contemplating if you should move forward, if you should say something to reach out, or if they should do the same. But kind of feel like maybe it's going to just rekindle everything and, you know, the same problems will arise. What's the obstacle? What is keep preventing the two of you from being together? What is pre preventing uncertainty about how the other person feels? And there was deception in the past. They may have lied about a child or a person who they may feel has some kind of hold or influence over them. Maybe use a child as leverage or was listening to the wrong people. This person lied. They, they may have had a family or had, you know, some kind of... Um, situation that they felt they could not get out of. How do they think about you? Well, Six of Swords shows distance. So they see that you're not physically with them. They may think about traveling to you or thinking about coming towards you. But there are still people in their life that are part of the issue. They never forgot about you, though. But they think that you don't trust them anymore. Especially like if they're like, still involved with someone. If they return to you at this point... You might shut the door in their face. You might say, are you kidding me? You're still married. You're still living with this person. You didn't tell about your family. They don't know what you're going to do. But they still think about like the fond memories they had with you. What is this? There might have been a child you didn't know about. They still have feelings for you. They do think about renewing things with you, but they don't even know how to approach it. Their feelings with Page of Cups... This person does have feelings for you. This person does have love for you. This person may feel like they do. De you do deserve an apology. They know that you do. What does this person feel? Like they think that that might be the answer. Maybe that they feel that might be the solution. That might be you know the next step. But they're trying to prepare themselves for this. And the intentions with Two of Pentacles, they're trying to make a decision between you and another situation. 
But what I get is, in the past, they may have strung you along. Okay? You, you may not give them forgiveness. You know, if they try, you might shut the door in their face and say, Are you kidding me? I think you still love this person, but there's a lot of pain and a lot of things that came to light here that really hurt you. You may have went above and beyond trying to pursue this connection. Maybe you were the one that was usually reaching out or something. But this person does see the potential for abundance here. Like in all honesty, I, I think that this person might not have intended to like fall in love or for something to become serious here. Because again, with keys on a ring, it's like one night stand. Be, this started off with a really initially very passionate, very physical between you. For some of you, there could have been an unexpected pregnancy that's obviously not for all of you. What intentions, a decision, a choice. What is this person's, about a, about a woman or about a, a love interest. This person has to decide between you and another person. They have to decide what they want. What is this intentions? They don't know what to do. They may love you both in different ways. But like the love for this other person might have died or something. It's like, it's not the same as it once was. Maybe at one point this person was what they wanted and thought they needed. And now they're feeling very uncertain because once they walk away, they can never revisit it. And so if it doesn't work out, it's, you know, a big leap of faith, you know. But they do see the potential for abundance. I think this person wants to talk to you. You know, the love call card coming through. They might be deciding that they have to end something. The sickle and the grave can both talk about endings. But they don't know how to do it or they've procrastinated doing it for a while. Actions. We see the magician and the two of swords. This is about making a decision and then manifesting, you know, trying to build on that. So what actions can be expected from this person? What can you expect? There could be news about an ending. Okay. So we have someone who may reach out to you to tell you that they're changing their situation and hoping that you're going to be, you know, willing to hear from them, maybe after uh, distance or time apart. I mean, this person is trying to make some changes in their life. They, it's been a difficult decision, but they feel like the solution here is to apologize for the past and the confusion and things that you did not know. It's like that may... You may have found out. There's a lot of pain here. Both of you like re grieve, like miss each other. Maybe both of you are going through separations as well for some of you. That's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send donations and super chats. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.